Have you guys ever ordered anything off of AliExpress? Well, I went on the website, typed in Jeep mods, and bought the cheapest things that I could find. And this is what I ended up with. Let's do an unboxing today and see what I ended up purchasing. So AliExpress is a website known for cheap things. So I figured, well, let's order a few Jeep mods, do a quick review, see if they're any good, and maybe we'll throw them on the Jeep, who knows? Maybe we'll give them away, I don't know. What do you guys think? So I've got this box here, several things. It took a few weeks for them to arrive at the house, but we have them here now. I haven't even opened them up yet. I can't even completely remember everything that I ordered, um, but uh, we'll unbox them, see what we got. Remember, this only cost me $100. All right, as we get started, don't forget guys, I do upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more parts installs, parts reviews, and weekly vlogs every now and then. What are we going to open first here? Uh, let's go with this one. I think this one might have got inspected during travel uh, because it seems that it's opened up now. All the stuff from AliExpress comes from China and uh, sometimes they open it at customs. So, okay, eh, we don't need this. Lots of garbage. First one here, these look to be, uh, these were the plastic step rails or step guards or whatever it is. You know, in your Jeep, uh, your paint gets worn off along where you open, underneath where you open the door. So these are called Jeep Wrangler four door sill scuff plates. These were 20, these were $20 US for the set. So it looks like we might have some for the back doors. And we've got a pair for the front doors here. Let's get them out. Now I know I've been looking at JLs recently and you can buy these sill guards when you order your JL. And I think they're like $129. So if that's all they are from Jeep, a uh, piece of plastic with some two-sided tape. That's a pretty good savings. A couple strips of two-sided tape, molded plastic, it's flexible. Yeah, 20 bucks. All right, let's check out what is in this guy here. So we've got lots of plastic. These are, let's find that. Ah, this is a fire extinguisher holder. So there are many, many of these brands out there that basically strap onto your roll bar and you can attach a fire extinguisher to it. It's got Velcro and straps on both sides. So if we open this up, we put that through the loops. I mean, you've seen these probably everywhere. Lots of brands of these that can mount onto something. And then once you close the loops on this side like that, you can slide your fire extinguisher into it and slide it out when you need it. You just pull it, pull it out. It doesn't lock it in place or anything like that. This was $4.81. All right, let's get this out of here. More packaging. Oh yes, I know what this is. This is another fire extinguisher holder. Now this is probably my most expensive item. Little thank you card. Now I have one of these in my Jeep already. And I did want another one. So these are, well, you don't, you know what these are. These basically just go around your fire extinguisher and they bolt it or they connect it to this holder. And then the holder has a pull pin on it, which when this is mounted to something, 
allows you to release that by pulling that pin. So this just hooks in like, like that. And then pull the pin out and locks in place. And then you can connect this to your roll bar with these worm clamps or whatever you want. And then now when this is connected, you can easily remove your fire extinguisher just by pulling this pin. This is all metal. This is metal, this is metal. Both these pieces are metal. And then it's nice and easy to get your fire extinguisher back in. It's a little bit harder when it's not actually connected to anything. So there you go. So this was my most expensive item. This was $44.58. Pretty good price compared to the other one that I bought. And this is very tight. There's not any, it might be maybe a little bit of wiggling in there. When this is installed, you don't want your fire extinguisher rattling. Um, but yeah, I've got uh, two clamps, two worm clamps to connect your fire extinguisher to this like that. And then two more worm clamps to connect the mounting base to your roll bar or whatever it is you want to connect it to. So $44 for this. And I definitely will be finding a home for it in my Jeep. Feels like it's aluminum, it's very light. There you go, just needed a little bit of practice and it's fairly easy to use. Always good to be able to get your fire extinguisher off quick. All right, what else do we have here? Boxes and bags, always fun. All right, so this was a very interesting, we don't need that, purchase. As at the, t at the time that I ordered this, I didn't need it. Um, but if you've been following all along the vlogs, I smashed off my fuel door cover a little while ago. So this replaces whether you have the earlier JK model without a flap or you want this one. This is metal. Uh, and this replaces your fuel filler door. And I definitely need one of these because I smashed my other one to bits. This is plastic on the inside. Metal door with the uh, metal bolts on it. And this will just go right on over top of your fuel filler. This metal part comes apart from the plastic part. You just undo these bolts and that's how you install it. It's a very, very easy installation. This was $13 and 60, no, $13 and nine cents. 13 bucks guys from AliExpress. Metal fuel filler door. Pretty cool. Pretty impressed with this. This one and uh, this one and this one are probably my favorite mods so far from this AliExpress order. So what was in this bag here? Oh yeah, okay. This is a grab bar handle, the fabric variety. It's the impossible to open bag. In red. Uh, so pretty standard grab bar, much like the other ones that I've seen out there with the plastic handle. And you basically just undo these Velcro straps, pull them out and wrap this around your roll bar. And then you've got a handle, once this is uh, secured, you've got a fabric handle to pull on to help you get in and out of your Jeep. These are handy to have, uh, whether you have grab bars on the A-pillars, these are always handy to have above you on the roll bar. And this was $4.37, four bucks. So if you want it for these, $16 and change, $17. Pretty good price for a grab bar handle. And last but not least, I know what this is because I remember ordering it for a specific reason, which I will show you in a second. I've had a lot of mixed luck ordering shirts out of 
China because they seem to be way too small. And this one is a Jeep t-shirt. Now the reason why I picked this one, it's kind of funny. How many slots do you see on that Jeep? Have you ever seen a Jeep with only five slots in the grill, guys? Probably not. This shirt ended up costing me 10 bucks. Shirt feels like good quality. This is, uh, the size on it is extra large. I normally wear a large t-shirt. Uh, it's 90% cotton, 10% polyester. So we've got our five slot Jeep t-shirt. All right, there's the five slot Jeep t-shirt on. Fits pretty good. I gotta get my jacket back on because it's freezing in here. Have you ordered anything off AliExpress? Let me know your experiences or cool items that you found for good value down in the comments below. Don't forget new videos every week. I'll see you guys in the next one.